Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to Thursday, the 8th of September. Oh, yeah, school trips today, I forgot. I already forgot. Oh, I'm so excited now. Yeah, we're going to Tatsumi Port Island for three days and two nights. Oh, you know what that means. Oh, are you serious? Probably there's going to be no one to save. You know what? When we had the, when we had this, the, the camp on, um, uh, in Persona 3, I'm pretty sure we could save. I remember there being, like, a, a telephone in, like, the lobby of the hotel that we could save at. Am I imagining that? Could be just imagining that. It's more, more likely than not, this is going to be, a, like, a giant-ass episode. Oh. I'm not sure if I'm really up for that right now. Oh, you got, I got, I got time to kill, so that's fine. Gekko Khan High School in front of the entrance. Yes, Gekko Khan. It's the Gekko Khan music too. What's up with this place? This school's way too big. Yes, the Gekko Khan. Well, uh, that's not, isn't the music from Gekko Khan High School? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. <gasps> is that fucking G Hero? Is that fucking Jihiro? That's my fucking waifu right there! That's my real waifu! That's my Persona 3 waifu! That's like, she, for all intents and purposes, she's the Yumi of Persona 3. I guess. Cause she's not, she's not part of the main cast. Um, but she is, um, yeah, she's like an, like an additional character, but she's not, she's not part of a club though. Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah, she's, uh, not a club per se, but she, like, you join the, um, the student council. And she's a student council member, that's right. And then you usually, like, hang out in the library. Oh my god, is that really her? I think that is. Man, their uniforms are so much better than ours. Gekko Khan's high, like, school, look at that school, school girl uniform. It's so much better. Look at that, she's got a black skirt, black, like, dress thing with a red ribbon. She's got the, the black, like, knee-high socks. She's got long, it's not black, but it should be black hair. Yeah, it should actually be black hair. Wait, yeah. if we can't beat him on size, we're totally sunk. Mm, what does that matter? I remember that guy, it's, yeah, it's the principal. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution. And the reasons for its establishment. That, uh, that woman on the right, that's, um... That's our teacher, right? Yeah, that's whatever her name is. Our, our, um... Uh, yeah. Yes. Who's that kid on the right? Uh, well, the, the girl on the left, I think, is that the girl that wants you to get the, like, the... The Mary doll and the, uh, the crucifix and shit. I don't know. The guy on the right could be anyone, dude. <laughs> I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Okay, dude. Oh, oh, the memories. Principal in love with his own voice or what? He does like making speeches, I do remember that. Oh, this is so cool. The feels, man, the feels. So I wouldn't have I wouldn't have felt this if I didn't play Psyche 3 first. I'm glad I did play Psyche 3 first. Ah, uh, he's fucking death the door now. <coughs> Our school is closed today, but uh, because of this rare opportunity for a cultural exchange... Why is it closed there? Some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative uh -huh. will say a Say! Words. Say she's with, the, she's with the committee! Thank you, Principal. That's a weird voice. But she's got brown hair, she's very different. What what grade was she in in Persona 3? I mean, how many How many years apart are the games? Cause like one way or the other she would have to be uh one thing I didn't never really liked about those those school uniforms was the that stupid emblem, the white and black like test dummy thing. It looks so stupid. I mean, I mean, that's better than freaking um, what we have with the Yasugami High, where the boy's jacket is like, got this weird stitching, like, 
Ghetto has white stitching all over it. Uh, Persona. Persona. I should probably keep the story going, dude. Yeah, you're right. If I if I stop to look up all this shit, this episode is gonna go forever. I just want to see when it's set. When is the game set? It's set in 2009. Um. Okay. I believe Persona 4 set in 2011. So if she was a junior. Is it junior? Is that the right word? I don't know what you freaking Americans called. The. You know, first grade. First grade high school. Then should be third grade high school now. That must be right. I, I do want to check it, but where's Persona 4? Oh, God damn it, why can't you just look up Persona 4? Persona... Oh, yeah, Persona 4. This is so cool. Couple in this game. It's my waifu right there. You're the first girl that I, like, maxed s and she was my... She was my only girlfriend. I didn't actually... I didn't actually max out any other girls. I, I, I tried for Mitsuru, uh, which you can't even start to, like, hang out with. Until you max out intelligence, you know, kind of like Naoto. But you can, she's available, like, much earlier in the game. So, like, you spend, like, so much of the game, um, um, uh, um, like, like, having her not, like, ignoring you because you're not smart enough. Yep, Shadow Forest set in 2011. Huh. So, I guess she was, uh, she was, like, because I'm pretty sure the protagonist of P3 is, uh, second, second grade. So she was a she was your junior. You were dating your junior. Mmm. Well now she's my senior. Yeah. Oh, where's she going? Welcome to Gecko Khan High School. Is that Yukari's voice? She's got the voice of freaking Yukari from Persona 3. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third year student and the student council president here at Gecko Khan. Yep, she's Chihiro. Okay, well they straight up like uh um interesting interesting uh side note is the design of Chihiro was actually the original design of Fuka, one of the other main characters that appears later in the game. But I guess they, they changed it to um uh to what it what it what it was and this ended up being uh, a different character. It's an honor to meet you all today. I'm sure it is. Holy crap Girl's unbelievable. She's pretty fucking good, Yusuke. Don't you fucking touch it. Don't even think about it. It's mine. She's mine. It's my wife. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. Kaiji, don't make me punch you in the face. You'll probably kill me, but still. I gotta say, she's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. Really? Really? Come on now. You guys, stop. Overreacting. Chia, you just don't understand. Chia, I'm dumping you. I'm dumping you. I'm gonna hang out with Chihiro now. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. I don't really get how you could call this a cultural exchange when we're everyone here is Japanese. And we're probably all from the same area of Japan. Like it's not even like Oh, I'm from West Japan, and you're from East Japan, and we have slightly different cultures. I'm pretty sure they're from, like, the same area of Japan. Like, I, I think, I think, uh, Inaba is, um... Well, my, my opinion is, oh, what is it, Okina City is just Tokyo, straight up Tokyo. Because I'm, I'm from Tokyo, right? And I think Inaba is, you can't be that far away, and I don't think Tatsumaki Port is... Tatsumaki? Tatsumaki. That's, uh, oh, Tatsumaki, Seppukaka. Um... Katsumi port is not that far away either. To learn about others is to learn about mm. oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This I believe. Because someone taught me like three years ago. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. Okay. I don't know how I like her, um, her actual, like, uh, what do you call it, the, the card? The actual, like, person, the, the image that pops up when she talks. It's different to, like, how she is in P3. 
pretty sure she had straight black hair. I mean, she still got straight hair, but I mean, she had, what I mean by straight black is just straight up black. Like, pure black, like you could go ahead. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. Unless I am. Oh, she just can't. She just can't because fucking Leo doesn't love her anymore. It's true, Chia. I'm dumping you. I'm, I'm staying and fucking talk to me. Alright. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. God, that woman. <laughs> Who's that group? Is this... Is this literally our group? What's wrong? What? What's the matter? Oh, she's coming to me. Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? Fuck yeah, you can. What's up? What do you need? This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? Oh no, I can't. But I'll give you a hand or oh, a finger. I forgot to do it myself. Dirty piece of shit. I can't even sit that now. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. Oh, don't worry about your hair, it's cool. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. No worries, let's go to the library and bang. In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. No, me too. She was the president my first year here. Yep. And she was amazing. Yep. I always looked up to her. Talking about me too. Uh, yeah. Did, I, did you ever... How did you go with her ass like? With Mitsuru's ass like? Um, I, I did... No, I max... No, sorry. I'm sorry. I did end up dating Mitsuru. The very, very end, I maxed her out and I ended up dating her. I remember now. Yeah. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Well, whatever. Cheers to my <laughs> cheers to my wife. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. Yeah. What about Protag? Didn't Protag? Didn't something happen to Protag? I forgot the ending. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. I um. Well, that, that and you played the PSP version, which doesn't include the answer, which I think is some, like, additional story content that I can't be bothered. Apparently, people have told me that it's not even worth playing, so don't bother, so I would like to know. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. Okay. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Okay, bye. Wait, no, wait, come on. No. Did I just hear her say special lecture? It's not what you think, Yosuke. Calm down. We came all this way to be lectured? Oh, right. <laughs> he's, he's, okay, he's pissed off about the lecture part of that. I thought it was going to be like, is it a special lecture? Is like sex ed? No. Let's see. Our class is... Uh, what was that? What was that classroom? It was on the second level. First level was like... The, um, like the practice, like, we've, on yesterday we have, we've got, like, a practice building, right, with all the, the hobby stuff, but in, um, episode three, it was just one building, yeah, it was just one building, well, there was a second building, but that was just for the sports, uh, first, first level was, um, yeah, the, the activities, the clubs and stuff, second level, was there a third level? Yes. I don't remember. It's being taught by someone named Mr. Adagawa. The lecture is about Kabbalah. Oh! Adagawa, he's, um. He's not the guy that wears the stupid samurai hat, is he? No, they, put, they couldn't put him in the game because, um. In the story, or at some point, in maybe an S-Link or something, he actually gives the hat to the protagonist. He's this teacher that wears a stupid samurai hat and loves Sengoku Jidai. Like, Age of Warring States. I, I think they referenced him at some point in this game. The, one of the history teachers was like, Oh, there's a, one of my colleagues in Tatsumagi. Whatever. Stop saying Tatsumaki. It's Tatsumi. <laughs> Tatsumaki's fucking tornado in Japanese. Like, hurricane kick. You know, like Ryu and... Yes, I know. Street Fighter. Anyway, um... 
This guy is a weirdo that teaches, like, he tries to teach magic for some reason. And, uh, he also, I think he's also the school nurse. If you get sick, which, you know, you get tired in the game, you get sick, which I don't think actually happens in this game. Um, you, uh, you can go to the school nurse and it'll give you, like, some shitty potion that won't actually do anything. Oh, well, it can possibly, but it doesn't do anything, but it increases your courage. And then you can go to the toilet and sometimes it does actually fix you or nothing happens. Hubba what? Hubba what? You don't know? It's a casino. No, it's not, you idiot. So, when's our free period? We don't get one. Uh, we don't get one. Booyah! That sucks. I knew it. Fucking knew it. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow, we'll be staying at a hotel. Well, that's cool. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. Okay. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, stop complaining, you big bitch. Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later. You a day and a half. Also, you can go, we're not really studying. I mean, this is kind of like... This is like whenever I had training um, at, at work, when I worked uh, in a uh, telecommunications company in, in Australia. So, like, oh, you got training today. You got a day of training. Oh, that's cool. What is it about? Oh, this. Oh, that thing that I already know everything about? Sweet. I get basically a day off. Although I have to come to work, but I just sit there and listen to a fucking lecture. <laughs> oh, look at the do that. Get paid for that shit. Hell yeah. <gasps> there he is. Oh, it's the exact same picture. It's literally the same picture. Why didn't they use the same picture for Tahira? Well, they have to show the progression of her growing up. I guess that makes sense. Now, I've never seen this classroom before, but then again, I played the PSP version. So, the PSP version didn't really show, like, these 3D models. No, you didn't actually, like, walk around. Uh, like, like you do in Persona 3. In Persona 4. I believe in the PlayStation 2 version, you do walk around, but... In, uh, in the PSP version, it's just like a still image of the area. And you, like, move a cursor around and to interact with stuff. It's not quite like this. You're welcome. Nice to meet you all. A meeting is only the beginning stage of partying. The Alpha and the Omega. My name is Itagawa, and I'll be keeping you company for this period. You are from Yasugami Haya. Ah, school of many gods. What? Oh, Yasugami? Gami as in... Kami, as in God. Alright. I had considered a lecture on Kabbalah philosophy, but I have a better idea. <laughs> Since I was able to meet all you today, I shall tell you a story of paintings. Man, this school's so... This, this classroom's so much better than Yasukami Hai. Holy oh, shit, I got a fucking TV. And the tables are nice and, like, shiny. Fuck me. And that lectern is amazingly built. This place is amazing. It's so much better. Fuck. Whatever. Um, one can say that this is Japan's oldest tales of curses. You all know about the gods who created this country, I assume. Oh, you mean Izanagi and Izanami? You mean the namesake of my persona? My original persona? The two gods who gave birth to this country of the gods is an Agi and the goddess is an Ami. They got along very well. But one day is an Ami died when giving birth to Kaguchuchi Tsuki, the fire god. If you should be by this, is an Agi left for the land of the dead to bring back is an Ami. Yomi, the dark, dark underworld. There, Izanagi asked Izanami, who had become a dweller in that land of shadows, to come back with him to the land above. The goddess replied by saying she would negotiate with the god of the underworld and asked Izanagi to wait for her. However, 
He said I became curious to know what was going on. So he broke his promise and set his comb alight to look around. What he saw was the goddess is an army whose body was completely covered in filth and maggots. Okay. Terrified, Izanagi ran away, but the enraged Izanami chased after him. After dodging the many demons sent after him, Izanagi reached the entrance of the underworld. Yomotsu Hirasaka. Isn't that one of the personas that we had? He said he placed a large boulder as a barrier between the two worlds, and he got out away unharmed. When the dreadful goddess reached the boulder, he said his farewell to her. This is the curse known as the Kototo. Koto. Kotoko. Koto. No, goddammit. Koto. Koto. Jesus Christ. Kotodo. Curses beget curses, and is an army sad to the god. If you are going to treat me this way, I will kill 1,000 humans in your world each day. Izanagi regrettably accepted that the bonds between them were severed, saying, And I shall give life to 1,500 each day! Thousands die, and 10,000 are born. That is the curse upon this country. Many of you may have already known this story. I, I've heard that, heard that before, yeah. I think I read it in the uh, Kojiki. I actually have an English version of the Kojiki. I've barely read any of it. <laughs> Quite frankly. Now, the etymology. Names is an argument, is an army come from the world, is a new, which means to invite. I'd be delighted if you have accepted the story today as an invitation to acquire knowledge. That reminds me, in the olden days, people took this story very seriously. Things such as lighting. Only one fire at night and throwing combs were taboo. But lighting only one fire is taboo. And throwing combs is taboo. Okay. By the way, I don't know Iwa Iwaya. The grave where Izanami is said to have descended to the underworld. To this day, people decorate it with flowers when they hold festivals nearby. It may be merely ceremonial, but everyone wants to look beautiful. It's how they show their consideration to the goddess who may feel that way. Hee 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 hee. Oh, is that time up already? I may have gone on too long. Hee hee hee. You're gonna fuck your voice if you keep doing this. Yeah. We also have no water left. Oh, shit. Somehow survived the long motion during the trip. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay, evening. Do we get to save? Do we get to save the hotel? Later that night in front of the hotel. This is our hotel. Alrighty, here we are. The Seaside Clamshell Inn. Um, this looks like a fucking love hotel. Not that I'm complaining, but we'll be staying here tonight. This is a fucking love hotel, isn't it? Is this really a regular hotel? Yeah, isn't this a fucking love hotel? They got a sign on the front that's got like the prices, like you know, by the hour. That's what love hotels charge. Wave of agitation says be close to the group. So what do you think? It was me who found this place. Yeah, but you're a regular here. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Okay. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. Okay. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but <laughs> It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a love. Told ya. You there. Don't just stand there. Keep marching in. All the boys will be staying in my room. And all the girls will be fucking awesome. I don't care. And all the girls will 
also be staying in there. Isn't there something funny about this place? Yes. Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I, I can't tell. Is it the whole pink neon, like, glowing that's happening outside? Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... Shirakawa Boulevard? Heard that before. I don't know where I've heard that before, but it looks like Risei knows what it is. That's alright, Risei. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. I'm pretty sure he does want to know. And also, that's Teddy. This is quite the hotel. That's fucking Teddy. If I ever, s if I ever heard his voice, that's Teddy. To meet me, I wonder what would the look on Yosuke's face be. That that is Teddy, right? Uh, who's that? Or is this some weird? Well, look up there. Yeah, it's fucking Teddy. Hanging out with cats. <gasps> Okay. I don't know why it's a mysterious voice, but there's a picture of fucking Teddy. Okay. Teddy? What are you doing here? Why are you Teddy out there? The lonely bear inside of me went stir crazy. How do you even get out? If only I could detect people in the real world. Well, you can save people, can't you? Do you have some special ability? Yeah, exactly. No, I took the train. What train? I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. Oh, you mean? Oh, okay. I thought I thought you said how to get out of the TV by a train. Really? I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. Yeah, oh, shit. Good job, Yosuke. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. God damn it, Yosuke. Look what you fucking did now. You fucked up, son. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? True, Dad. True. I mean, why wear the bear suit here? Well, yeah, why are you actually wearing a bear suit? Why just be your human form? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. Good job. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie chan made to go on a date with me. Right. Wait, excuse me, Chia, did you make a... Did you fucking... Did you fucking make a promise to go on a date with Teddy? Fuck off, Teddy, she's my girlfriend. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Fuck off. Uh, good job, Teddy. Chia, why'd you do that? Did I promise that? Oh, yeah, I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. Yeah, someday, just not, not now. Yeah. <laughs> I think we... What was that famous line from Black Books? Yeah, uh, I think we should wait. Yeah, like, until when? Until one of us is dead? <laughs> Whee! <laughs> you remember, Chie chan Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Risei-chan, too? No! Let's all go together, then. Is that alright with you? Yukiko, stop enabling him! You know he's got a dirty mind. Don't be so innocent. Yeah, right. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. No, uh, you know what? Whatever. Uh, I've got my eyes set on Chihiro. I don't, I don't think you're ever going to see Chihiro ever again. I think that was it. Uh. I guess we can go shopping first. And I know a great place we can hit later on. Okay. Ooh, shopping. That sounds great. <laughs> we, I, well, okay, Teddy, if that's really what you think. The other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just gonna go wherever the school recommends. Yeah, so. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. Oh, are we? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to me. All right, we say. Fuck now, over now. Before the fun starts, we gotta deal with this guy. Yeah, go back. Go back to fucking home. Don't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals! You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here! I don't care either. I took the slow train all this way! Do you hear? The slow train! Okay, so all this way, so it must have... 
I must be somewhat far away, I guess. Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? We don't even know what our room allocations are. Crap! What's the matter? Oh! What's this giant teddy bear? Oh, no. Actually, no, this, this could work out in our favor. Um... I made it in class today. My, you must have some nimble fingers. <laughs> um, I, I guess. Yeah, okay. All right, now hurry on inside with it. Oh, okay. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. Oh, God damn. <laughs> That's one thing I never struck off my to-do list. But uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights, or your bed will start spinning. I don't really get the appeal of that. I thought, I thought she was going to say, don't flip the switch, otherwise it'll start anyway, vibrating. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yep, yeah, I'm exhausted. For so many reasons. Come on, Teddy. What? Oh, great, I'm S linking Teddy. Level five. I don't care, though. Do I have to Hi, pick Eddie. you? Good! Go fuck off and pay the garbage over there. You should have just said it was a costume and then one of the one of the other kids was um one of the other kids was in it. Yeah. I don't know I really don't know why you didn't do that. Hmm, whatever. Alright, well, yeah, even even though this is going to be it's gonna be a giant pain in the ass today. Um yeah, we'll we'll do we'll continue day two tomorrow. Yeah. That's right, yeah, no the only reason I was trying to think why why did I do what I did um with uh um yeah, I, I will stop the episode now. Yeah, we will, and we'll do we'll do uh, the, the the what happens next tomorrow, because the reason why I did it with the uh, I think it was the the festival. Yeah, because it it literally skipped the days. I had no control over it, and the other one is the uh, the exams that I just do them all in one because like an episode would be like less than a minute. And that would be stupid. So <laughs> yeah. But in this case, we've got more, we've got, I think we've been doing this for like half an hour now. So yeah, when we come back tomorrow, uh, we'll do day two of the school trip. Uh, but for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.